it's Alex from Risk Academy and today I wanted to talk about risk management software. Now to begin with there are a lot of different options and this video is not about promoting any specific options it's more about describing what are the two fundamentally different types of risk management software available out there and uh, you can then choose for your own company which one suits you best. Now back in 2007 I did uh, a little research into the risk management software and at the time we found, the team that was working on this research, found more than 40 different software vendors providing different packages uh, for different industries, for specific risks, overall ERM, um, IT systems. So we ended up um, categorizing all the different software packages into two categories, two types. Now this type A, which is your um, ERM overall IT system, and there is uh, category B, which is integrating specific risk quantification tools into existing um, e existing uh, enterprise uh, systems, or Excel, or Microsoft Project, etc., etc. So in, when we talk about risk management software, you have to keep in mind that there are two dedicated different types of products. One category of products dedicated specifically to risk management and uh, the other one dedicated to quantifying risk as part of some other uh, software package. And uh, uh, let me talk about the uh, first category. Uh, first category now. There are a number of packages. Uh, they range from web-based to physical installation on your computer and uh, what they help companies do is they help to capture risks, store the information, um, assess, analyze the risks inside the system, um, allocate risk owners, assign, create, add uh, risk mitigation strategies, um, set up reminders, monitoring procedures, and uh, most of all generate nicely looking risk reporting. Now this sounds great, except it isn't. The biggest challenge with those software packages, and I have seen probably close to 20-something installations, their, their usual life expectancy is about a year, year and a half before everybody realizes what a waste of time they are. The challenge with those type of products is that they reinforce the mentality that risk management is a standalone, separate process, where you have to identify risks as part of that process you have to capture, the risk, you have to work with risks, making us um, mistakenly believe that risks are the essence of the uh, of this whole risk management uh, risk management process. They're not. Risk management is not about dealing with risks. Risk management is about making business decisions and performing business activities with risks in mind. So it has to be part of something else. So those software packages really reinforce that message, that incorrect message, that you know, risk should be captured on some sort of regular basis and not every single day as part of different business activities. Um, so those software packages, in my personal experience, usually fail within, within a year or so. Um, the main reason behind that is because people are not stupid. They very quickly realize that capturing information about risks for the sake of risk reporting is a waste of their personal time because it actually has little resemblance resemblance to their day-to-day -day business processes and activities. Now there's the option B and those are the packages that integrate into existing software platforms used by the company. Um, either ERP system or Excel or Microsoft project or some other software used by your company. And those are the type of risk management software products that are extremely useful because they expand the functionality of basic programs like Excel or Microsoft Project and help companies assess the impact of uncertainty on the budgets, on uh, the business plans, on project schedules, on uh, KPIs, etc., etc., etc. And this is what risk management, again in my personal opinion, this is what risk management software should all be about. It should be about enhancing and integrating risk analysis into existing business processes, existing decisions. So if your existing decisions are made in Excel or are made in Microsoft Project or any other 
system for that matter, then you should really look for a risk management product that integrates into that product. Not as a separate exercise, not as a standalone exercise, because unfortunately the way human mind works, if it's not part of their day-to-day -day activities, if it's an addition to what they're doing on a daily basis, after a short period of time, humans, employees will stop using it. Um, so if you agree or disagree, please write comments underneath this video. If you want more videos like that, do sign up for Risk Academy YouTube channel here. And for now, thank you and goodbye.